One very convenient feature in the Wentzville School District is you can actually reset your own password without having to contact technology, um, either if you've forgotten your password or if you get the notification that your password is about to expire. And I'm going to walk you through that process right now. When you are signed into the Chrome web browser with your Wentzville School District account, you will see in your bookmarks bar a, a uh, bookmark for the WSD bookmarks. If I open this list, down towards the very bottom is the WSD password portal. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And what this is, this is the site where you can sign in and actually change your own password. This is called our self-service password reset. Now, this password is the password that you will use to log into your computer in district. And this is also will also be your Google password. This does not sync with your SysK12 password. Just some FYI but this will reset your network login and your Google password. So all you'll do here is sign in as you would to your computer. Um, please note you're not going to put the back half on this one. You're not going to put at WSDR4.org. Go ahead and sign in. Now, if this is the very first time you've been to the self-service password reset, it's going to prompt you for security questions. And mine didn't because I've already done this. But what will happen is you will have a screen like this pop up. And basically, this is telling me now these are the questions I answered. Um, and this is basically if you forgot your password, this is how it's going to make sure it knows who you are. Um, you can always at any point in time go clear these answers um, and redo them. But the very first time you log into here, you will be forced to answer these questions. I'm going to go home and then I'm actually going to go ahead and click change password. So right here is where you'll go to change your password. Now you'll, you will notice too, all of the passwords, um, all the password requirements are spelled out right here, what you can do. So obviously you can't do anything um, like put the word password in your password. Um, you can't repeat uh, characters more than four times. So your password cannot be one, 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 one. Um, and when you start typing a new password, um, it will tell you uh, here it says new password does not have enough numbers. Um, it gives me a strength. So there I have to I realize I have to add a number. Um, and it does say, you know, password meets the requirements now. The strength is good. So then it needs me to confirm the new password. So if you do this, um, this is the route you'll go through. And once you do confirm that new password, you have just successfully changed your password. Um, with Google accounts, um, it may take about 24 hours to sync your Google account password. Once you do this, your network password will change immediately. So logging into your computer, um, but uh, your, your Google one might be a little delayed on that.